Mason Taylor here. I'm coming to you from the sunny Sacred Valley in Peru. And um, I've been planning on making this video ever since I was at the Longevity Conference um, a couple of weeks back. And someone um, was talking about corn and how corn is pretty much the Darth Vader of food now, implying that it's like just a shadow of its heirloom self, pretty much a machine. And that's kind of implying the fact that it's been genetically modified, it's had um, herbicides and pesticides uh, injected into its DNA. It's, um, so it's like it's pretty pretty messed up for the genetically modified corn that we're kind of like that especially everyone in the in the states has access to and um, in Australia we don't we, we do have crops growing genetically modified as um, corn crops growing in in Oz it's probably not on the shelves yet um, but. It's a, it's a pretty messed up food. Um, however, Darth Vader is that is that character that had the prophecy that he would bring balance back to the Force. And so, following that little thread, it had me thinking about when I came to Peru, talking about the heirloom corn that they have here, very different to the corn that we get access to in the West. Um, probably because 90% of the corn in the States um, and and creeping up to that numbers in other places is genetically modified and uh, if it's not genetically mo modified it's highly hybridized and that's what we have in Australia and so we get this these small punsy little um, bits, bits of corn that are really lacking in nutrition but rather here you can see nice big kernels they look kind of wild that's an heirloom bit of corn right there and I think the heirloom corn varieties um, thanks to people in countries like this and farmers all over the world saving seeds and saving the heirloom varieties I think it is actually going to play a big part in our future as we kind of rise up and there's a bit of a, an evolution beyond relying on companies like Monsanto and others painting seeds and having um, absolute ownership over the um, the, the food food stock and the food supply of the human race and um, the other reason why it's going to be so important is because when you look at heirloom corn you can actually grow it in pretty much the full array of colors you saw like a white corn variety you get yellow blue black orange red and so what that shows you is that it's a food that um, it has the capacity to um, it has the capacity when you have different phytonutrients and antioxidants and colors coming in, it shows you you can actually feed the different systems and organs of the body that way. For instance, when you get a black corn like this, it shows you it's really high in zinc and also um, an array of phytonutrients that absolutely feed the, um, the kidneys and that core foundational energy. Very important. Likewise, you get a bit more further on to the... Um, the oranges and the reds, it shows that it's like amazing for the cardiovascular system, the heart building blood. You've got the oranges here full of the beta carotene, so it's really good for the eyes. You've got lutein, you've got zeaxanthin in there. So you've got a very powerful array of antioxidants and cell, um, like that cell protecting um, uh, functions in there, as well as high amounts of vitamin C. Um, like uh, pretty much when you when you look at the array of phytonutrients and antioxidants here, corn's got you covered when you look at the heirloom possibilities of colors that you can grow. Also extremely high in manganese, which is a very important mineral for our population. It goes on and on and on. Um, the other thing about heirloom um, varieties of corn is really high in fiber and really good at protecting the good bacteria in our gut. That's the heirloom variety. And so you can see it's actually a very, very incredible food. And it could play a very big role as we kind of like, as the people of the land start rising up and realizing, no, we don't want nutrient um, deprived foods grown in monocrops crops like, like the, the types that the, um, the big businesses are trying to feed everybody, we want to actually start going back to the heirloom varieties. Corn may actually be that Darth Vader food that although it's been nearly destroyed and turned into a machine and a shadow of itself, just like in Star Wars when Darth Vader does kind of snap out of it right at the end and he is the one that picks up the Emperor and throws him over and fulfills the prophecy and brings balance back to the Force and corn might be that one that um, metaphorically, um, metaphorically picks up those, um, those big executives of those companies that are trying to own our food supply and throw them to the side so the people of the land who understand food and understand what humans need to sustain themselves and be healthy and be vibrant and powerful so that we can live joyous and, um, and um, purposeful lives then um, yeah, I definitely think this actually is the Darth Vader and right now it's waking up from its slumber and it's coming back and um, 
I really recommend that you jump on the bandwagon now, getting onto Heirloom Corn, another Heirloom variety. Start looking for it at your markets. If you have land, start looking for those seeds. Start growing these foods and start saving these seeds. It's going to be very important work. So thank you very much. I'm Mason Taylor. Um, please like this. Um, subscribe to the channel, to the YouTube channel. I've got lots more videos like this coming for you. I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.